Hey, so one of the main reasons why I work with a lot of the people that I work with is because people tend to kind of fall off track, all right? They end up getting this mindset where they're just focused on the outcome, all right? Just the result, the outcome. And maybe that's because that's what they were taught from their parents. Maybe that's because it's the only thing they can clearly see. But while you do that, you lose track of the little staircase that gets you to that outcome, that gets you to that result, all the in-between stuff that we call the process, okay? And you might be like, oh, I've heard this before, but you should. You should hear it over and over and over again. And if you're listening to this, you've probably gotten lost in that outcome-oriented mindset, all right? You gotta keep the outcome in mind, but keep it in your peripherals. Try and use this as an analogy. The stuff out here in your peripherals, you still see. I still know that I have one finger up on each hand, but it's not right in front of you. It's not blocking everything else that's going on, okay? Keep it in its respective spot. Know what result you're looking for, know what outcome you're looking for, but also focus on that process, all right? And we'll have a couple additional exercises about the process and how to identify that and how to actually break it down and make it extremely manageable. But today we're not focusing on necessarily breaking down the process. We're focusing on progress. Breaking down the progress. All right. If you're looking to uh, get a new job, if you're looking to complete a project, if you're looking to complete a class, whatever, whatever the, your goal is, okay, and just insert that on the, black, the blank line, you're, you, need to, you need to find ways of tracking progress, okay? Because if you're not getting better at something, a lot of people that demotivate you to continue working hard towards it, all right? There's an executive functioning skill called goal-directed persistence, all right? Fancy term for basically the goal itself is motivating enough to just keep going until it's done, okay? Sometimes it's not that easy. I've worked with people that are trying to finish up uh, a course credit after being out of school for a couple years. It's not gonna be fun. You're not gonna be jazzed and motivated to, to finish this term paper when you haven't even paid attention to it uh, for two years. All right, we're not looking to have the best time at doing this, but you gotta keep in mind with goal-directed persistence, you remind yourself why you are finishing that class to get that degree. So things like getting jobs might be a little bit easier to boost your confidence, to, to just have an overall impact. You gotta remind yourself that. But we're gonna scale this down to weekly, okay? I want you to get in the mindset of trying to pull out, trying to sift out the progress that you're making and where it's being made. All right, so every single week, I want you to sit down and I want you to take out this exercise. All right, this is called your progress kind of checkup, all right? So I want you to look at it and it's going to provide you a couple boxes and a couple bubbles behind, below those, those boxes, all right? So the box is going to say weekly accomplishment, all right? Relevant to the goals that you're working on, choose one of those goals, do one for each of them. Choose your goal, and relevant to that goal, what is your accomplishment? Be very specific. And then underneath that, I want you to break it down even farther. How did it feel to make that accomplishment? How did it feel to accomplish that? And then second to that would be, how is it actually progress? How is it feedback in to that outcome? How does it feedback in to moving in that direction? Okay. I want you to really force yourself to get into the mindset to think, what progress did I make today? What progress did I make this week? And as you start going and moving through this, you're gonna be able to push to put together multiple weeks and see that there's tons of progress that you're making. You just need to train yourself to do it. When I first started doing this type of work, one of the biggest issues I had was that parents not even the people I was directly working with and spending most of my time with, parents had a hard time seeing that their kid was, was making progress. And so I had to train myself. And it was relatively easy for me because I was a, a rel a pretty objective, all right? At the, at the beginning, I didn't have a whole lot of skin in the game. So when I was working, when I was working with people, I'd be able to see the little bits and pieces of progress they were making every single week. Maybe it was being more communicative. Maybe it was being more open and honest. Uh, maybe it was following up with an assignment. Uh, it, it could be a number of things, but finding the little pieces of progress that you're making. You gotta be active 
in this, okay? You gotta be assertive in this. So actually make the effort each week to sit down with this exercise and look at the three pieces of progress. What, what progress did I make? What, what accomplishment, weekly accomplishment did I make? Number one, two, three. How did it feel to accomplish that and why was it progress? All right, so download the exercise, fill it out, keep going. I'll see you soon.